Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Soft Beauty, where we talk about life. Be it was like dead in my face. <laughs> where we talk lifestyle beauty from the inside out. So here, you'll find faith videos, lifestyle videos, beauty videos, fashion videos. So if you're into anything like that, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and sign up for notifications so you definitely don't miss a video from me. And today we're gonna get into another self-flexion. So today we're gonna be talking about staying in the fight. Okay, um, I don't know about y'all, but 2020 was really rough in 2021. It just seems like the weapons are prospering just a little bit. And um, no matter what, like here we have a growth mindset, but it still doesn't make challenges and struggles not inevitable. These things definitely happen. We don't know what's coming. These are natural things that we have to deal with in like challenges, opposition, changes literally everything so what do we do within the fight and how do we stay in the fight how do we fight <laughs> fighting or learning how to stay within the fight and go against these challenges is like a crazy great life skill is it easy absolutely not <laughs> the good thing is we have a choice as humans to choose our response we have a choice as humans to fight with God or without God. So yeah, like I said, challenges are super inevitable. So let's talk about staying in the fight. So number one, I think that when we get into challenging situations, like we forget that we have a choice, um, not so much for the challenge, but the way that we respond. So I never used to really pause and I just do like what makes me feel good in the moment, but you really have so much power to choose how you're gonna face that opposition or that challenge so to me you have to remember to pause i have a choice in my response should i respond like the old me or should i respond like the new me so i think that every type of position or challenge like you really have to t just take a chill pill and pause because we are emotional beings and sometimes how you feel in the moment can affect how you face the challenge so definitely remember you have a choice number two the last point was a perfect segue into this one and that is being alert so i had to learn this a lot because i i love that you know as believers we're like okay the devil is trying me so and so sometimes like god sends certain situations into your life to test like your faith or to test how you respond to certain things so you have to realize and sit back and think like whoa have i really been here before because if I've been here before, that tells me that I haven't passed the test and I need to respond differently. Maybe this is a challenge that God has sent um, for my good to develop me, to develop my character. And I think that being alert gives you a chance to like just pause and just switch your perspective on, hey, maybe this might teach me something or B, I need to respond differently because I've been here before. Point number three, put on the full armor of God. And I'm not going to read the full verses, um, but I'll read part of it, um, starting from verse 14. So it says, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness. Not your own righteousness, but the righteousness you have because of Christ. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, take up the shield of faith. Do you believe? Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Read your word. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. This is basically saying there's power in your faith. There's power in you having the Holy Spirit live inside of you. Sometimes we fail to realize that. So we may not be in our word or we may not think that like a devotional time is that important but i think that when you are filled you come out or you walk a different way you talk a different way you make different decisions like i can tell when i've been slacking versus when i'm not point number three heavy on the point number three four which is very hard for me to do but i'm learning learning especially in marriage life to rely on another person when people call me with problems sometimes depending on my headspace i feel like you know not that they're a burden, but I feel overwhelmed. So I don't like to do it to another person. But I think that reaching out to someone and saying, hey, are you emotionally available like right now for me to just vent to you? Um, without like, you know, just, hey, this is what's going on. Dump. <laughs> and you drop literally all your emotional baggage on them. And I think that's unfair. But I'm learning 
to ask someone for that space and um, making sure that it's okay. Sometimes you may not have the faith. Sometimes you may feel like you're, you're depressed, you don't want to talk to anybody, but you trust this one person. And that person's faith can definitely deliver you out of certain situations. Faith is currency. Someone just said that in a group chat that I'm in and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Like you have to definitely reach out to other people. Um, and I'm learning this more and more. Like I said, being in a marriage is all about teamwork. Definitely try to rely on someone else when you are in a state of opposition and just being challenged. And lastly, number five, I have to say it, and I'm sorry I'm a burst on bubbles, but sometimes we bring upon ourselves like our own challenges. Like you bring upon challenges because of the choices that you make. I know when I was like, before I was married, I was in bad relationships and I kept like going back to these bad relationships and I'm like, I'm bringing this challenge by myself. Like, or you're procrastinating day by day and then when you get to the last day, it's like, oh my God, like, you feel overwhelmed. But you have to take action because you are the one that is putting yourself in this predicament. So I think you have to identify the roots of all challenges and oppositions and sometimes you won't know. Sometimes you'll be like, God, I need clarity. What is this? Why am I facing so much opposition? Like, are you teaching me something? Versus maybe I brought this challenge upon myself and I need to get my life together. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like you have to identify where the challenge is coming from and do what you need to do. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I definitely feel like I want to exercise my resilience muscle a little bit more. Like, I told you that challenge challenges and oppositions are totally natural but i want that snap back it's like something happened but i'm back i'm back to me i'm back to me i'm back to me it makes you a stronger person and not to say like we're gonna respond in a perfect way at perfect times because we're imperfect people i'm not gonna respond like this 100 but it's good to be aware of how you can respond so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video definitely 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 don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye y'all